Hey everyone, this is Neil Barnhill with the Barnhill Golf Institute, helping you find your winning way. Today I am offering a special giveaway offer, but you have to like, subscribe, and comment on this video, which is going to be very interesting. And I'm, the giveaway is going to be one dozen Titleist golf balls. Um, but here's what here's what's going to happen. I've recently got back into playing again in the last four or five months, and I've been chipping right-handed, but back in the day when I was playing in the early 2000s, from 2000 to 2005 on the North Florida PGA Tour, I got the yips back in 1999, and I went left-handed putting, then it went, I went left-handed chipping. And I got very, very good at it. I practiced a lot on it. And I'm, right now I'm right-handed, but I want to challenge you to look at both ways. I'm going to do right-handed and left-handed. And I want you to just tell me and give me feedback what you think looks better, okay? So, any of you guys out there or girls out there that are having problems with uh, chipping right-handed and you're yippy, with meaning like the right hand taking over, that's why I went left-handed in the fact that it's just a different action, but actually, besides the terminology, it's actually more right-handed. You're using a left-handed club, but you're using nothing but right hand. It's a forward press, leading edge type shot, but it gives you an opportunity to get over those yips. If you get them, you'll do anything to get over that. It's the most frustrating thing ever. Almost, I almost quit the game, personally. So, all right, I am going to hit some right-handed, some bump and runs, and uh, take a look at it, and then I'll hit some left-handed. I'm going to do it with a 50 degree. I got a 50 degree Mac Daddy here. Really like these clubs, and I'm just going to do a little bump and run with it ball position back in my stance forward press my hands and just pretty keep it keep it pretty much quiet choke down get my eyes over classic bump and run now I am going to the second flag there in case you're wondering I'm not going to first because I'd be a little hard Both of those are decent. Okay, all right, this felt okay. They weren't nothing to write home about, but it was definitely okay. It wasn't yippy. I just noticed in the last five months, uh, last round I played, I, I could feel it coming back again. And I was playing with my good buddy and on one of the holes on 16, I haven't practiced my left-handed chipping since I started playing again. And uh, I hit one on hole 16 from about 20 yards off and I absolutely, I hit it like a foot. And I was like, all right, and it felt so good. I was like, I gotta get back into this left-handed chipping. So, all right, we're gonna look at it from the other view. I'm gonna look at the left-handed and see how that goes. All right, here comes the left-handed shot. I've got a 56 degree. I really four press my hands with this. I de-loft it, uh, bump and run it. Again, I used to play this up to about 50 to 60 yards out. Not much risk, pretty quiet with my lower body. Just all right hand. I'm gonna give you a different perspective of how this looks, all right? Here we go. Just hitting a little bump and run, about five feet off the green. Going to the same flag I went with the right-handed shell. about two and a half feet. That one went in the hole. I'm gonna end it on that one. Okay, to me this felt better than the right handed, but give me your feedback and comments. Can't wait to see what you have to say about it. I know it's a little bit different style, but hey, if you're yipping it out there, I highly encourage you to try this. It's not that crazy. Uh, for more great videos, um, vlogs, blogs, please check out barnhillgolf.com.